Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into an important topic for all the men out there, the lifestyle habits that are secretly killing your testosterone levels. We all want to feel our best, be at our best, and for us guys, that means keeping our testosterone levels optimized. You might be surprised to learn that some of the everyday things you do could be sabotaging your T levels. But don't worry, I'm here to break it down for you. We'll uncover 10 common habits that could be messing with your manhood. And more importantly, I'll give you practical tips on how to make easy changes that can make a world of difference. Stick around to learn how you can make simple changes to boost your health and well-being. It's time to take control of your health. Let's kick things off with a wardrobe malfunction you need to know about. Believe it or not, the clothes you wear can impact your testosterone levels. Specifically, we're talking about polyester. Polyester might be wrinkle resistant, but it's not doing your hormones any favors. Polyester is synthetic and doesn't breathe like cotton or wool. This creates a warm, moist environment around your groin. Your testicles need to be cooler for optimal sperm and testosterone function. Trapping heat and moisture with polyester can throw things out of whack. Over time, this can lead to a dip in testosterone production. The fix is simple. Opt for natural, breathable fabrics. You'll feel more comfortable and help your testosterone levels. Remember, keep things cool and comfortable down there, so ditch the polyester and let your boys breathe. We live in a digital age, and while dating apps have made it easier than ever to connect with people, they could be messing with your testosterone levels more than you realize. Now, I'm not saying you need to delete all your dating apps, but it's important to be aware of how excessive use can impact your hormonal health. Here's the deal. Constantly swiping, matching, and messaging can create a cycle of stress and anxiety, especially if you're not seeing the results you're hoping for. And guess what? Stress is a major testosterone killer. When you're chronically stressed, your body produces cortisol, the stress hormone, and cortisol directly suppresses testosterone production. Not only that, but the constant comparison game that dating apps often fuel can take a toll on your self-esteem. Seeing perfectly curated profiles and feeling like you're not measuring up can lead to feelings of inadequacy, which can also negatively impact your testosterone levels. So, what's the solution? While dating apps can be a useful tool for meeting new people, it's crucial to use them in moderation. Avoid spending hours on end swiping and messaging. Instead, focus on quality over quantity. And most importantly, don't let your self-worth be defined by the number of matches you get. In today's modern world, many of us spend hours sitting each day. Whether it's for work, commuting or relaxing at home, prolonged sitting has become the norm. But your body wasn't designed for a sedentary lifestyle. Studies show a link between prolonged sitting and lower testosterone levels. Extended sitting makes your muscles less active, signaling your body to produce less testosterone. It's like your body goes into energy saving mode. Sitting too long can also lead to weight gain, especially around your midsection. The good news is combating the sitting trap is easier than you think. The key is to incorporate more movement into your day. Get up and move around every 30 minutes. Take the stairs instead of the elevator, walk or bike to work if you can, and stand up while you talk on the phone. We talked about the importance of ditching polyester clothing, and now I want to dive deeper into the best fabrics for optimal testosterone health. When it comes to keeping your boys happy and your tea levels thriving, natural fibers are your best bet. Cotton is a classic for a reason. It's breathable, lightweight, and allows for good airflow, keeping your nether regions cool and comfortable. Wool is another excellent option, especially during colder months. It's naturally moisture wicking, so it helps to keep sweat at bay, and it also provides insulation, keeping you warm without overheating. Remember, a cool and dry environment is key for healthy testosterone production, so next time you're shopping for clothes, especially underwear and pants, make a conscious effort to choose natural fibers like cotton or wool your body will thank you for it. We live in a world that's increasingly driven by technology, and while online interactions have their place, it's crucial to prioritize real-life connections, especially when it comes to your testosterone levels. Remember how we talked about dating apps potentially leading to stress and anxiety? Well, face-to-face -face interactions can have the opposite effect. When you engage with women in person, your body releases feel-good hormones like dopamine and oxytocin, 
which can have a positive impact on your testosterone levels. Not only that, but interacting with women in real life can boost your confidence and self-esteem, which are also linked to healthy testosterone production. Think about it. When you're confident and comfortable in your own skin, you naturally exude an attractive energy that can be a major turn-on for women. So make an effort to put yourself out there, strike up conversations with women you find interesting and nurture those real life connections. You don't need to be a gym rat or a marathon runner to boost your testosterone levels. In fact, something as simple as walking can make a significant difference. Aiming for 4,400 steps a day can work wonders for your hormonal health and overall well-being. Walking is a low-impact exercise that gets your blood flowing, muscles working and testosterone pumping. It's a great way to burn calories, improve your cardiovascular health and reduce stress. All factors that can positively impact your t levels. plus it's an easy activity to incorporate into your daily routine. When it comes to testosterone production, it's not just about what you eat, but also what your body absorbs and utilizes. That's where micronutrients come in. Vitamins and minerals play a crucial role in various bodily functions, including hormone production. If you're deficient in certain nutrients, it can throw your hormones out of whack, including your testosterone levels. For example, zinc, vitamin D, and magnesium are essential for testosterone production. Zinc is involved in the conversion of testosterone from cholesterol, vitamin D acts as a hormone precursor, and magnesium helps to regulate testosterone levels. To ensure you're getting enough of these vital micronutrients, focus on eating a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. If you're concerned about your micronutrient intake, talk to your doctor about getting tested and consider incorporating a high quality multivitamin into your routine. Low-carb diets have gained popularity in recent years, and while they can be effective for weight loss, it's important to be aware of their potential impact on your testosterone levels. While drastically cutting carbs might seem like a good idea, it can backfire when it comes to your hormonal health. Carbohydrates play a crucial role in testosterone production. They help to regulate insulin levels, and insulin in turn helps to optimize testosterone levels. When you severely restrict carbohydrates, it can disrupt this delicate hormonal balance, leading to a dip in testosterone. That's not to say you need to load up on refined carbs like white bread and sugary drinks. Instead, focus on incorporating healthy, complex carbohydrates into your diet, such as brown rice, quinoa, sweet potatoes and fruits. These carbs provide your body with the energy it needs and help to keep your testosterone levels in check. BPA, short for bisphenol A, is a chemical found in many plastics and resins. It's used to make food containers, water bottles, and even the lining of some canned foods. While BPA is convenient, it's not so friendly to your hormones, especially testosterone. BPA is what's known as an endocrine disruptor, meaning it can interfere with your body's natural hormone production. Studies have linked BPA exposure to lower testosterone levels as well as other hormonal imbalances. So how can you minimize your exposure to this sneaky hormone disruptor? Start by choosing BPA-free products whenever possible. Look for products labeled as BPA-free and opt for glass or stainless steel containers instead of plastic. When it comes to canned foods, choose brands that use BPA-free linings. We're often told that fluoride is good for our teeth and while it can help to prevent cavities, it's important to be aware of its potential impact on testosterone levels, especially in high amounts. Fluoride is a common additive in drinking water and toothpaste and while small amounts are generally considered safe, Excessive exposure has been linked to hormonal disruptions, including lower testosterone levels. Studies have shown that high levels of fluoride can interfere with testosterone production and may even have negative effects on male fertility. Now, I'm not suggesting you ditch brushing your teeth altogether, but it's wise to be mindful of your fluoride intake. Consider switching to a fluoride-free toothpaste, or at least using it less frequently. You can also invest in a water filter that removes fluoride from your drinking water. By taking these simple steps, you can reduce your overall fluoride exposure and protect your hormonal health. So there you have it, gentlemen. Ten surprising habits that could be sabotaging your testosterone levels.
The good news is, armed with this knowledge, you can make simple changes to your lifestyle to boost your tea levels and reclaim your vitality. Remember, your health is an investment, not an expense. By making conscious choices that support your hormonal health, you're setting yourself up for a happier, healthier and more fulfilling life. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more health tips and advice. Until next time, stay healthy and keep those testosterone levels optimized.